But it is a typical standard uh, organic lab with a synthesis, synthesis in mind. Okay. Yeah. And about, um, or how many labs do you have right now on campus? Well, I have, uh, so if, if you call this uh, one, mm -hmm. then I have uh, three, two more. Okay. Yeah, but uh, uh, I, ha I recently became, uh, switched from full time to half time. Right. And uh, this department is very anxious to bring a <coughs> new young talent. <laughs> and then I am uh, giving up my large lab. Okay. Yeah. And can you give a little bit of background um, um, on your process that you, that you found out about the uh -huh. process? I, mean, uh -huh. I guess uh, at what year, was, was there like, one year or one point in time and that was fully discovered and... Mm, so, first, first uh, successful discovery uh, was made in 1976. Okay. Yeah. Then we published uh, three seminars, three important papers. So, that was the first uh, successful, success, uh, successful year. Mm -hmm. And then ever since. And uh, I claim, I say that uh, <coughs> my first 10 or so papers published in <clears throat> 76, 77, 78, those laid the foundation to cu current, current uh, Negishi coupling. Okay. And uh, since then, we have published over 100 papers in this area alone. Yeah. So this is one of, I've, I've published about 400 papers. So 100, plus paper is about 25 plus percent of my total work. That, that yeah. one yeah. Okay. yeah. Let me see. Would you like to uh, um, they went to get some, oh, yeah. Some, yeah. Okay, oh, sure, okay. Yeah. Which will make their time, everybody's time even. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. well. We can favor some local people. So yesterday at the news conference, you were discussing, you know, how you feel like the the pure form of discovery is working on your own ideas, looking for new discoveries. Uh, uh, what kind of ethic do you instill in your students here? Like, when, when you have students <coughs> working for you, what do you tell them, or what kind of ideas? Well, f first of all, in terms of this, you know, uh, uh, talking about the uh, ingredients of discovery, uh -huh. I think one of the very important process still, well, the first process, is to know something from someone else. It's, uh, this process is very similar to newborn baby acquiring uh, his uh, mother tongue. What they do? They copy, they start copying uh, their parents or their uh, siblings, you know, I mean, uh, brothers and sisters. And uh, in chemistry, the process, initial process is the same. So I say there's nothing wrong to copy, uh, uh, you know, some well-known, some known, known chemistry, okay. as long as you don't stay there. So you copy with the mind of uh, just uh, penetrating through this and then uh, moving it uh, to the next level. Uh, that's a fair <laughs> way of copying. And of course, we, we give the credit to right. our predecessor. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and I was wondering, um, since yesterday, if you've spoken with um, Professor um, Suzuki, have you, yeah. have you spoken to him since yesterday? Yes. And what yeah. did you guys talk about? I mean, were you both very happy? That <coughs> yes, that, yes. That, that yeah. each of you were chosen at the same time? Uh, yes, we are. We are. And uh, uh, there was, in the, in, in the beginning, there was a bit harsh time between two of us. Uh -huh. I felt that uh, I discovered what, what is known as a Suzuki reaction. Mm -hmm. But he, he took it, and then he developed. Okay. Yeah. So as I said, there's nothing wrong, perhaps, to mm -hmm. Copy, but in that case, he what he copied, he claimed. <laughs> and so over the years, he kind of went in, di in a different direction than you. Is that right? Oh yes, kind of yes, yeah. yeah. So 
We have been uh, friends. Uh, okay. yeah. And uh, let me see, which, which description, Nobel description? Uh, anyway, there was a year, and uh, Professor Heck, mm -hmm. 1972, was associated okay. with his finding. Mine is 1970. They put 77, but I would put 76, but that doesn't matter. Okay. And the Suzuki one was a 79. But yeah, so Heck came first, but Heck's chemistry is much different, much less widely applicable, less selective, uh, and so on. But it is it is uh, fundamentally simpler than ours. So when it works, that's no, that's your choice. Simpler, but simpler. They have to pay the price for that. <laughs> being simple. They cannot do this, they cannot do that. Many, there are many, many restrictions. So restriction ratio is uh, easily uh, five to one. Five, we can do five, five different things. Mm -hmm. With heck, you can do one. Okay. That's, a, that's a substantial difference. But uh, it is a bit simpler. So this is a very simple operation. That's that's where and that's what we were right now doing. We are at that stage. Uh, <clears throat>